Hi, welcome on the tutorial on how to write an office in 30 days. Today we're going to see the word processor and this is day three. So how to write a word processor in one day. So we're first going to create a new module. Then we're going to add a new file type to it. We're going to add a new top component from the NetBean platform. And then we're going to add the JTX pane, which is the basic word processor to the top component. So this is a swing class and it has some basic uh, word processor features in it. So first, let's add our new module. So just right click and create add new modules. We're going to call it word processor. Just follow the wizard and then just open the project. Then choose again new and then this time in your modules choose file type. So here we need to, we're gonna support the docx format of, uh, of Office. We're not gonna support the old format, just the new. So just pick the right my type of it and choose the extensions docx. So then we go, so we'll create for you some uh, files and you will also need like a template from, from it. So just create with a LibOffice an empty file that you can save as template. Now, second things we need to do is to add a top component. So top component is more or less a window. That's something you can dock and you can drag out and so on. So again, in your modules, choose add new. Then you have a wizard where you can choose window. From there, you can choose the position of the window. So here in this case will be your editor because it's a, a large part. Um, then you can choose the behavior of the windows and then it will for you generate the top component. So here what, uh, what NetBeans will do is it will start also at the same time uh, your top component where you can design with drag and drop. But in this case we just you're going to use one or maybe two components that which will be the JTX pane and then maybe a toolbar above it. So we don't want to use a visual designer for it. So just need to remove the generated code and also the uh, form.xml that is generated in the same directory. So you can we can choose our own uh, layout and so on. Of course, you'll need an icon for uh, this uh, extension, docx. So uh, back to Inkscape. Just try to design a small icon for it because it's going to be, I think, 16 by 16. So, and save it. And then you can specify in your top component the name of the icon. And that's something also that you can specify within the, uh, within the node for your files also. Then we're going to need a library to really read. And because uh, the text pane is quite limited, especially it doesn't read the docx format. So I found this uh, very nice website, which is called uh, javasl.com. Very well explained from other tips and tricks about the JEditor pane. And it also includes an example, um, an example on how to, read, to use the text pane to read docx components. So I've downloaded it and I'm going to use it for the first version. So I just unpacked it and added it to uh, my modules. And of course, I have to rename the package also extension from it. Uh, but this one is, does not depend on, uh, on Apache Poi. I've decided to use Apache Poi, but this one is using another library to, uh, to read docx uh, document. So I'm also going to add this new library, which is uh, docx for Java, which also passes uh, docx document. 
So just go to the website, download it, then uh, go in the modules and uh, add a new module library from it. And here you basically need almost everything except Apache Poi, which also comes in this library, probably for some utility classes. And then just add this library as dependency. So one of my objectives for, for writing this word list and for this word processor was to reuse the NetBeans editor for it. So NetBeans editor, where you develop in Java, PHP, and so on, is a JTEX component. And I think it's even a J editor pane uh, from Swing. And well, I was using something like a JTEX pane. So it's I think it's quite similar. So I wanted to reuse the uh, editor kit, which uh, reads the uh, docx, and then apply it to this uh, J editor pane uh, from NetBeans. Yes, unfortunately, one of the problems is that uh, the one that is written by uh, javasl.com is a style uh, document and the NetBeans editor doesn't, um, it's not based on the style document, it's just based on document, which is not really compatible. So here you have some uh, different problems and one of it is that you can only had specific views. So for example, if you have an image view of it, you cannot really add to it. You can only add, I think, a document, specific document view from it. So if I had uh, something yeah, specific here, you'll see the exception from it. So I was trying to add the paragraph view to the document, and then it just failed to be added into a, well, the text component because it can only understand document view. So, so far for the NetBeans editor, so I've decided to use JTEX pane. And here is the example that we have uh, using the JTEX pane, just added it into a border layout uh, into my doc, top document, the one that was uh, developed by uh, JavaSL.com. Uh, and here is a URL. I advise you to uh, to read the documentation about it, and you see that already I can open now docx document, and I have my first version of my uh, word processor uh, within uh, Office. Well, we're gonna work uh, then later on uh, the different parts. So try to remember the the phase of creating a new module to create a new file tab and to create a top component because that's something with that we're going to do again and again for the other modules, like for the spreadsheets, for the presentations, and so on. So thank you for watching from how to write a word processor in Java in one day. And uh, hope you'll enjoy also the other videos. Bye.